No number. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Fertility Talks. I'm your host, Mary Wong, author of Pathways to Pregnancy, your registered traditional Chinese medicine practitioner and acupuncturist, and your fertility coach. Today, we're going to do something totally different because I haven't done it in a thousand years, and I've had people uh, often say, why don't you do more recipes? So here it is. And I actually talk about making chicken broth in my book. The reason being is that chicken bones that you use will be very nutritious and especially for those people that have difficulty digesting, uh, chicken broth is the most awesome thing to use. So today I also have my assistant who it happens to be my niece who just disappeared off the screen. <laughs> oh, there she is. Stella Wong. And she's 13 years old, and the reason why she's here is because guess what? If she can do it, you can do it. No questions asked. So easy peasy. So what do you do? First, you roast the chicken. We ate it last night for dinner. And then what do you do? You find whatever vegetables you have in the fridge, and you throw it in the pot. So, you know, right now, there's like onion and carrots and thyme. Um, normally, I stick celery in it, but we don't have any celery. so. Too bad, and it'll still taste yummy. You know what else I stick in it often? Big chunk of tomato to decrease, hmm, in Chinese it's saying, I don't know what that means in English, but <laughs> anyway, it makes it tastier. So, you know, you whip that in. You can even keep like large chunks, like you can whip everything in like literally like this, bam, right into the pot, okay? And then bam, can you bring that over? You cook it for I boil it and then I cook it for about 12 hours. Now, what you can do to really extract the bone marrow is to be able to cook it for a long time. And so some people now, they have that instant pot. That is so easy. You just press a button, go to sleep. You're done, it's all good. And so now that the broth is so nice and tasty, mmm, yum, you can Scoot it over into this pot, and so we're using a little, what do you call this? Is it? I don't know. Whatever. We're using a strainer. A strainer. We're using a strainer. <laughs> so, just, yeah, just scoop it in so that it doesn't make a mess. And the reason why I say use a scooper is because the chicken broth is, uh, the chicken is so heavy, right? And if you just throw the pot over the pot, just like that, you, you could totally make a disaster, you could make a mess. So this way, you scoop as much of the large chunks out, and then you sieve it over, right? Are you doing that? How are you doing? Good. Awesome. Good job. This is even better. I'm, I'm not doing anything. <laughs> All right. And so sometimes as I cook, I even will add more water, because it depends on how concentrated you want it. And sometimes you could do it like super concentrated, and then you can add water with whatever recipes. So how I like to have it and how you can, you know, people are often saying, oh, what do I have for breakfast, what do I have for lunch? So this is so easy. You can make enough broth, like I literally make broth about once a week. So I'll roast the chicken once a week. And then you have the chicken, oh, and by the way, I would use, um, I would use free range, hormone free, antibiotic free chicken. Of course, that'd be healthier. And you don't want extra chemicals or extra hormones in your body because who knows what will do to your body. All right, you're still going? We're um, yeah. We're good. Okay. So I'm not at home right now. We're actually celebrating Christmas New Year's in New York State. And so really, you can do this anywhere. Ooh, this is heavy. Okay, should we do this? Easy. Okay, yeah. We're just gonna pour the soup into the pot with a strain. Oops, we're making a bit of a disaster. <laughs> oh, my finger is getting stuck in the thing. Oh, here, let's do it this side. Okay, can you see? It is so easy. Here we go. Now some people I've seen is they actually freeze the um, soup, or not freeze it, but put it in their fridge because then you actually have less fat. But I like the fat. It gives it nutrition and flavor. And then we go like this. 
I'm Chinese and we don't like to waste anything. You can squish it down. Oh, why don't you find a little something? Yeah, squish it down so that you can squeeze the carrots. I don't see. Because there's scrumptious juiciness in the veggies, so you can squeeze it out. So you'd want a bit of a strong sieve, strainer, whatever. There we go. Easy, right? This is not taking long. And by the way, like when I make my soup, I'll be like in the middle of eating dinner. I already have my pot ready to go. And then we throw the bones that we don't use into it. If your family's really close, you can like eat the chicken on the bone and then throw it in the pot. But you know, if you want to be hygienic, you're not going to do that and cut it off. <laughs> okay, I think we're good. So this is really concentrated and there's a lot of people here, so we're going to actually just probably finish it in a day. But at home, what I do is there's only a couple of us. So I'll take, I'll, I'll strain it into a pot with the lip, and then with the lipped container, I'll throw it into a sandwich bag, a freezer bag, and then I freeze it flat in the freezer, and I grab what I need, and I have it every single day. And that would be highly nutritious for you. So that's it. Happy holidays, guys. And this is going to be now soup for any kind of soup you want to make or put it in your sauces. Way cheaper, better, and more nutritious than if you're to buy it at a store. So, thanks guys. Thanks, Stella, for being my assistant. Thank you for having me. And by the way, if you want to follow me on Instagram, it's Stella Ray, R-A-E, with four L's and two E's. Four L's. <laughs> okay, cool. And thanks guys for watching. Next week, I don't know what we're up to, but we're going to be doing something. Have a very happy holiday, and we shall see you next time. Don't forget to pick up your copy of Pathways to Pregnancy. We'll see you later. Bye.